these are set to red rectangles, but we're going to change that bit to be now rebels. I'm going to call this places. Places, there we go. Um, and you'll see down here we've got a list box. There's our rectangle here. Our rectangle. We're going to change that to image. And we're going to keep the height the same. We're going to get rid of that fill. We're going to type the source. This is where the image is going to come from. And we're going to make an image folder in here in a second. So we're going to type in curly brace binding. And we're going to call it image img source. Okay, so basically that's how we're going to do it. That's all we're going to do. I'm going to change binding to uh, name. I'm going to make another binding called description. Okay, perfect. Uh, basically, this style here, um, a static resource, basically something that the phone itself uses. So the phone is a default phone text actual launch style. So that's what we're we'll using. Uh, with static resources, you could also get what color the user is using for their theme, which I'll cover in a later tutorial. But for now we're sticking with this. Okay, so we our bindings here and we our binding for the image. So what we're gonna do save it. Go to a project, right click, I'm going to add a new folder, and I'm going to call the images. With a capital I, right there. Okay, so in our images, we're going to add the existing, existing item. And then I'm going to my pictures. So our images, using this just binding. And here, you really don't want to rush ahead what you want to do. Is you want to get all these images, every single one of them. Okay, and we're going to go to window. No, we're not. Over wind view, over windows. We're going to go to our proxy window, which will go down here. We're going to select image one. All the way to our image 5, and we're going to change this little build action down here, and we're going to change it to content. This is going to make sure that we get references from this code here. So that's all we need to know for now. And as was before, we want the feed today to example. So we're going to make a new class, and then add a new item. We get a class, we're going to call it places .cs and here we go so places again we're going to type prop tab tab we're going to type shrink we're going to hit tab twice and we'll call it name and then we're going to press enter twice prop tab tab shrink tab tab just rip Shum enter top top. Now you see now we're changing it a little bit. But now adding another property be the image source. Which will be the location of our image. And again we can get set it from this main page to this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make a list. It's going to be this time. It's not going to be a people. Only places can be put in this list. We're going to call it places list. Equals new. There's places. We're going to make a new instance of the list class. And just to show you something, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this works. First, I'm going to type places list. Dot add, and then we're 
we're going to make a new place, new places. And we're going to set the name equal to, I'm just going to call it underwater. I'm going to set the description. to be okay um, and then I'm going to set the image source equal to um, string which is going to be slash this slash image one dot jpeg Okay, so I'm gonna close that. And, uh, so you do have an error on description. Description. That's why I look. Description. Alright, sorry. I forgot to eat this. Okay, there we go. I'll power in the program. And then we're gonna set. Let's go back to main page. We need to give this list a name. I'm going to call it Places List Fonts Name. God, my bad. Sorry, guys. to read page.sample.cs and what, what do we just call it? We call it places list bots. I'm going to do dot items again to set this list to the item source. Equals places list. Okay, so I fear that this is going to give us some error with the images because before I made this tutorial I tried it and uh, it didn't seem to work, so if it doesn't work, we're going to make a new method to uh, figure this out. So, yeah. hopefully it will work, and if it does, I'll be happy. Yeah, so it worked. Okay, so uh, you've got your places, you've got the water, it makes an image, and it says be cool place to be. And you still got a chunk of pop, and you can see with this panorama. You can, you can scroll across the title, and you can go across different pages and just use your fingers to go. Scroll. Well, yeah, I think that's, that's all tip there. Um, there is a reason why I had five different images. Um, just to show you that now, what I'm going to do is instead of just adding one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to type four. Integer i equals zero. Basically, I'm making a variable called i, which is a number. A number is represented by it. Uh, so, if that variable is less than five or six, we're going to make i equals one. And if it's less than six, we're going to make it go up. We're going to increase it. So, we're going to set a variable called uh, we're going to shrink. We're going to make a shrink. I'm going to call it name. I'm going to call it string.format. String.format is very nice because it allows us to customize our names without any errors. So the name of it, we're going to call it place. Oh, oh. And we're going to use a open curly brace and a zero and a Close curly brace. The reason we do that is because I'm going to use a comma and I'm going to put I. So what this do, 